Hi guys, it's our boy here and welcome back to another video. And today's video is not the same type of video I would normally do because it is quite early in the morning. My dad woke me up not long ago. I've only just got dressed because I need to tell you what's going to happen in today's video. Well, if you've read the title, it is the reopening of Warhammer World. So finally, I can go there and get the stuff I need. It may not be there, but at least we've made the effort to try and look for it. I literally have my tin here because I've been saving up the money whilst Warhammer World has been closed so hopefully I can spend quite a bit of that and yes I will give you some highlights of our time there because of course I need to give you a bit of footage of Warhammer World to make it a little bit more exciting for you guys but yeah once I come back I will show you all the stuff that I've bought so today's video is kind of like a little bit of a haul but yeah let's get straight into it So guys, I have returned. I hope you like the highlights of my visit to Warhammer World. But now I'm going to show you everything I bought. But before that, I just want to let you know how it was there if you haven't been already. And normally when I used to go, there was never anybody there. So that was quite new to me. I was probably in the line for like 10, 15 minutes. So it wasn't too bad, but that's just how it is now. So guys, without further ado, let's get on to this Warhammer haul. So guys, as you can see, there is no Ball of Death today because, of course, I have no models to show you. But first, I'm going to be showing you the sprays. I'm going to show you first, you probably already know about if you watch my videos, and that is my Crag Blue. I always complain about not having this spray, and now I finally have it. The reason I complain is because I paint Ultramarines, if you didn't already know. And me not having the spray really annoyed me because it was slowing down the process of me building up my ultramarine army but i finally have it 
and I didn't actually buy one can. So yes, I, I bought another one and I actually did buy another one as well. And I may have bought another one. And then the last spray is Citadel Chaos Black. I usually use the Boys Range Black, but I think it's always nice to go back to Citadel Chaos Black because it's always the best black you can go for. So I just maneuvered the cans. I don't want to move them too much because it will scratch my desk, but I'll leave them there now. So next, I'm going from smallest to largest. So here are my command characters. These are Mach 4. I'm not gonna show you them in detail, but here they are. I'll probably do a video on them, so stay tuned for that. They're just to build up on my company. And next, I do have my Space Marine Heroes box. It's really, really cool. I've always wanted this. This is also for my company. I've got the captain, the librarian, and the chaplain. So all really, really cool heroes. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into detail with any of these boxes, but here is the back anyway. So next I have a Necron box set. So this is the Illumina Serras. This guy is really, really cool. As you can see, he's literally ripping the soul out of this guy. So really, really cool. This is just to expand on my Necrons. If you already know, I paint Necrons, Ultramarines, Chaos and Orcs. So there's probably gonna be some boxes in this haul related to those factions. Moving back to Space Marines, I have my Mark III Space Marine Tactical Squad. This is just to expand on my tactical squads on my company. Very, very cool. So next I have the Mark IV Space Marine Tactical Squad. So these are the two tactical squads that I bought. So very, very cool. And next I have an Orc related box set. This is my Orc Mega Knobs. I did say something about these guys in a recent video because I'm going to be putting Cromlech heads on these guys. So it's going to look really, really cool. But here are these. And then next I have another Space Marine related box set and these I've always wanted for I don't know how long I've wanted these guys but the Centaurian Assault Squad I've wanted these for so long and I finally have them now they're just so cool these guys will have an unboxing on them definitely next I do have a Necron related box set this is the Necron Arc Doomsday Arc as you can see it's a ginormous box you can't really get it in shot i moved the camera out a bit so you can see the size of the box this model is going to be pretty pretty big and next this box it has nothing to do with any of these guys but this is actually terrain this is an imperial defense line i'll bring the camera out again so you can see it but very cool and then next this was a very good buy because if you don't really know i've made it a detachment on my Dutch marine army a vanguard attachment this box set is very very key for adding to my vanguard attachment so very very cool so many new primaris that i haven't painted yet got new types of eliminators we've got some new type of monopose infiltrators but yeah i'm not going to go into detail they will have an unboxing on them as well then finally there is one more box now this box I've wanted for a while and because of COVID, I've never actually been able to get it. But today I managed to get it. If you didn't see in the highlights, there was a lot of those boxes and I managed to get my hands on one of them. And it is the Indominus box set. Jesus Christ. Um, slight problem. So as you can see, this box is literally um, blocks every other box, which is a bit annoying, but this is, the box set that I bought. I know it's expensive, you're probably wondering like, you bought all these as well as the Indominus box set, but the value for money you get on this box set is amazing. And I will be doing an unboxing on this. So stay tuned for all of these boxes to be on the channel. So guys, that was quite a different type of video like I've already said at the start of the video, but I hope you did enjoy it. I know it was quite crammed, all those boxes, so you didn't see them very well, but don't worry, there is going to be individual videos on each one of them. Probably not all of them because some of them don't need an unboxing, but a lot of them will have an unboxing on them, so stay tuned on the channel for that. And now that I have my crag blue, there is going to be so many more frequent videos on Ultramarines, of course, because of course they are the chapters that I paint. Well, basically now the channel is going to be going crazy with different types of videos because now I have so many boxes to paint 
and I have the sprays to actually be able to paint them so just stay tuned for all of those videos to come so guys remember to leave a like and subscribe on the video i'll see you in the next one bye